So what's going on everybody? My name is Jeremiah Cheney here with another VA Music Ministry video. If you haven't done so already, please like, share, especially share this one because we're giving away secrets today. As you can see, you do not see my face even though I am talking to you. So this little Pro Tools thing that you see right here is indeed myself. That is I. So as a matter of fact, I wonder, because so, you said it's screen recording, right? Mm -hmm. So I wonder if I type in FaceTime, Let's see here and see what it does. You might be able to make it to where you can actually see my face. Since you love me that much. Yup, yeah, we, there we go. Here I am. I'm just going to make my face smaller. There we go. Can we? Can we make my face smaller? Because I don't need to be that. Maybe not. All right. See y'all. Anyway. All right. <laughs> so look, today what we are doing is we are showing you, we're going to pull up Pro Tools here. We are showing you instances of what we use here in the studio. We use a program called Amplitude. That's where you commonly hear the organ that we're using um, from all of the organ videos all the organ videos and sometimes i've even been so blessed as to you know just record organ at home using you know these different types of leslie's um as you can see i got an organ i got a leslie right here where uh christian did one christian did a leslie when he came uh, i have my own personal one where i come and record videos um let's see here and then i got a couple more so uh basically today is to kind of show you just the different sounds and everything you get in pro tools we're gonna move this over we're gonna show you what you get in pro tools uh mind you we're using pro tools and i almost want to put out a disclaimer saying i think it's almost a requirement to have to use pro tools because we've had problems running into the midi mappings in other dolls like Logic. So this is strictly for Pro Tools. So go ahead and go buy Pro Tools. <laughs> but all right, cool, so let's get started. Um, enough talking, let's let's see how the Leslie sound. So we're gonna start out with a organ uh, a 122, regular 122. So turn the MIDI track on. Make sure everything is on, there we go, yep. And so I don't want to confuse you. Uh, I want to make sure everything, something's clear here. You're going to see uh, the organ moving through like the four different MIDI or the four different audio channels because that's how we had to do it. It's like four different instances. So that way, you know, we could keep it all on the same video. However, only pay attention to the MIDI track uh, above the first audio. One. So if we're saying a 122 MIDI, it is, if we're saying 122 MIDI, now we're saying we are on the Oregon 122. So that's what we're playing through right now. Let's go ahead and open up this Leslie. And you can see. The, the cabinet moves with you. All right, that's the 122. Now, you got a little homie Josiah in the back. <laughs> All right, so let's go now to, we're gonna cut this off. I'm gonna cut that MIDI off. We're gonna go now to, this is my organ. Um, this is my, uh, my 147. Uh, if you know me, you know I have a 145 uh, at my home, and that's what I normally re that's what I normally prefer to use. It's, but not a 145, but a 147. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this MIDI track on. Oh, 
I guess it would help if I... I guess it would help if I, uh, actually... There we go! Let's go ahead and open that up so you can see what's going on. Sounds beautiful. It's my, like I said, that's, they got a lot of them, but that this is my favorite one. I just love it. I don't know why, but I just do. All right, so now, and uh, we're going to mute these. Okay. And we're now going to go to, we're going to turn that mini track off. We're going to go now to the 122A, which is not my favorite, but, you know, some people like it. Uh, I'm not a fan of it per se. 122A. It's just something about it. Don't uh, doesn't. I don't know. It don't resonate with me. If if you will. If you if you will. If you must know. <laughs> Uh, sometimes you, you see these organs with a little bit of drive to them, so... Alright, uh, now, uh, and I'm just trying to give you just like a general, you know, synopsis of each before we start, you know, kind of breaking down. I'll probably just use one, I'll probably use my organ as the, the, uh, uh, how we, you get the different sounds and tones and stuff. Uh, all right, cool. So now we are moving on to the 3300. And for this one, I kind of set it up a little different because um, I feel like, you know, I try to, I want to, and I want to try to make sure we cover like a lot of different bases that we're We might have to do it in a separate video. Um, one where you can more specifically see my face. But yes, so um, let's see here. Where's my. Doc, where the organ at? Oh, okay. This is more so like, like that house of God 
Um, shout out to David Cartwright, Sean Willis, um, the legendary Mark Mavison, uh, the Mavison brothers, uh, all those guys. So if you know about House of God, you know it's, it's, it's a different type of church. <laughs> Jaden Arnold, Jaden Arnold's church. <laughs> So, and this isn't the exact Leslie that they use, um, or mind you, because they have a regular organ, but the, the organ I know is, uh, the organ I know is like a, it's like a, a XC3, I want to say, or XB3, XC3, one of those. So, it's like one of the newer ones, generally, and uh, I'm not endorsed by Hammond or Leslie, so I can say what I want to say. Generally, these organs are not the most desirable among organ players because they kind of have like the little computer chip vibe to them but it's just like the way that they use it it's just something about it it's like it's something so sweet about it so it's just uh uh and like the drive be really hot So, and I hopefully this is showing you like there's a whole bunch of diverse tones. Even without me really explaining anything, it's just I'm hope, hopefully this is showing you like all the different diverse tones you can get. Uh. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, break this down. And no, I'm actually going to stay on the 3300. So basically what's happening here is uh, you got this organ. Um, you got this organ software and it's we're coming out of the Nord. You can't see it, but we're coming out of a Nord C2D and we're only sending straight audio. Well, we're sending straight audio and MIDI, of course, but the MIDI is more so uh, capturing for like the actual MIDI to control the VST. Um, it's not like we're playing a MIDI instrument, if that makes sense. So this organ sound, like the actual flat sound, like I can't turn the Leslie off, uh, but <laughs> the actual flat sound of the organ itself is not coming from the computer. It's actually coming from the Nord. So the Nord is sending out audio, straight audio, no no Leslie or nothing like that, to Pro Tools. So then in Pro Tools, we have, and let's see if I can pull it up here. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, we're going to minimize this for now. Uh, in Pro Tools, we have the different audio tracks set up. If you see the little bar moving, that's me talking right now. That's my mic. This is the the one, yeah, the 122. With, and for each organ, there's a MIDI track. Um, and we did that for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, I wanted we wanted to make sure that um, uh, we did each one individual. We did each Leslie individual. So that way you can actually hear the difference. Uh, so... Uh, and then two, so with with each Leslie, you have to have a corresponding MIDI track, and I'll show you why. Because each for each time you have uh, um, a uh, amplitude session or amplitude plugin or Leslie uh, opened up, uh, you have to route the MIDI. Uh, the Leslie control to the MIDI, um, and this is how you do it. Um, you go to uh, and I'll do, even though it's already here. Let's say we're gonna go to add cabinet A, which is the cabinet we're on, and then we're gonna go to speed. You add a speed, and then, okay, so um, you change that to 82, change this to 82, hit one of these latch on. Now, uh, what I've been trying to figure out, and me and Vincent is, 
paper, and I'm going to remove that because I already have it done. Uh, I don't think you need two of these where it says latch on and off. I don't think you need that. Um, but just in case, we did it both. We did it both ways. So on this on this Leslie uh, 3300, okay, so you can customize it any way you want to. So uh, let's tackle the fast speed. All right, you can speed it all the way up, or you can make it super, super slow. And same with the slow speed. You can make it to where it barely moves, or where it moves a lot. And we're going to speed this up. I'll speed it up a little bit more. I, I typically, I would typically like my Leslie a little bit faster, but for now, uh, you can mess with the the deceleration or the deceleration and acceleration time. So the, the Leslie coming down. Or the Leslie going up, it's accelerating up. You can do it to where it's really, really slow, or you can do it the opposite way. Well, hold on. To where it changes really fast. Um, and matter of fact, let's just do these both together. So you can do it where it changes really, really fast, or and we'll do both of these at the same time. You can do one to where they both change really really slow and then all right so uh that's the first page and we're on cabinet a all right um, the second page, this is the second little dot, is you can actually mess with the uh, the mic distance, or yeah, the mic distance and the the volumes of of the rotors. So right now you're only hearing the bottom rotor, and then you can change the panning. Now I don't know if the audio is recording all of this, so I hope and pray that it does. Uh, if not, then just know that I, I'm changing it, even if you don't hear it. I think that it is. I just wanted to be sure. All right. And then you got other things like, so this is your, like your general EQ. Now, what I typically like to do is I like to EQ it from the actual... Uh, the, the organ or in this case the Nord itself but if I have to come here I'll do it all right so these are your settings the last tab um, I haven't really messed with this one much but uh, you can add a room mic where it adds a little bit of ambience you can change the width the word stereo down and this is just like the the different uh, mics you can use for the room this is what the cabinet looks like this is where you can actually go and choose what organs you want or what Leslie's you want um, and in this case there are on the version we have it's um, three available three or four available uh, I think we used yeah we use four and then you have like the G37 which is more for your G47 and your uh, your studio 12 is more for like uh, your guitars um, but yeah, guys, um, this is basically how Amplitude works. This is how we use it. You can go to each amp and, uh, this is what the, the interface looks like. And then let's say we'll change it to, uh, I'm going to change, we'll go to a different one, one that's more traditional. Uh, really fast before I get off of here 
and uh, we're gonna let's go to my organ because it's my favorite. It's the one I use the most consistently. All right. Let's see here. Turn this audio track off. All right, so, and I want to show you this really fast. All right. Uh. So, um, and then you have like your different, uh, you can bypass the preamp and the tubes actually turn off. There's an EQ down here. You got a gain. You can make it to where you scoop your, uh, you scoop your Leslie. Scoop your EQs. There's a there's a volume uh, there's a volume knob here, and the knobs actually work. These aren't just for show. Like the knobs actually work. Uh, and then you have your. So try to remember these settings, and because for all of these, it's pretty much about the same. And uh, guys, look, uh, that's kind of how we do it. So here soon we'll be doing a video on how uh we actually use the different leslie's and the different applications we do for these so be on the lookout guys and stay tuned <laughs>